Monday of Pueblo, we soon learn he is a governor with the hardest job in Nigeria, Governor Basaki. God, you know Basaki. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a parable, local parable that, say, that says, uh, when they buy a new broom for market into the house, and the new broom comes into the house and will be asking the old broom, what happened to your mouth? Why is your mouth so short? And then the old broom will say, don't worry. Uh, by the time you stay for so so period in this house, you will see and you know what happened to my mouth, why my mouth got short. When you are using the broom to sweep every day, of course, the mouth will be shortened until the broom becomes useless. So that is exactly what is happening between Okwebolo and, uh, and uh, Obaseki now. So Okwebolo is like, Obaseki doesn't know what he was doing. Is this, is that. Now Obaseki is letting him know you will soon learn that you are a governor and that you are doing or you are having one of the hardest jobs in the country. <laughs> Not be smart, you know, I'm telling you. Very soon, probably Pueblo will stop talking and then, and then game will change. Uh-huh. And then game will change. Let's dive into the details. Kruzo Osage, a media aide to former Edo State Governor Godwin Obasaki, has criticized Monday of Pueblo's decision to prove the administration of Obasaki, calling it a diversionary tactic. Osage argued that Opebolo's actions were an attempt to mask his own incompetence and lack of a clear vision for the state's development. Uh, state development. So he stated that the governor was resorting to political theatrics, using meaningless probes as a smooth screen to distract uh, people from his inability to govern effectively. <laughs> and we say it is too soon to tell about the competency of Opebolo. So in a report by Daily Trust, Osage described the creation of a 14-member state asset verification committee, which Opebolo set up to investigate Obaseki's tenure as laughable. He emphasized that Obaseki's administration was globally recognized for his transparency and accountability, suggesting that the probe was politically motivated and lacked any substantive purpose. Hmm. So this move, according to Osage, was just one in a series of baseless investigations initiated by Opebolo since assuming uh, office. So the media aid also criticized Opebolo's broader governance approach, noting the governor's fixation on probing various sectors, including civil service employment and uh, government assets. Osage contended that these probes were a reflection of Opebolo's lack of vision and preparation for office. So he further argued that his strategy of political destruction was designed to stall progress and buy time, as Opebolo had no clear plan to move a state uh, forward. Hey, now you, just, now you only just the talk, I'm telling you. So Cruz Osagi also compared Opebolo's action to a theatrical spectacle, likening them to a gladiatorial duel in ancient Rome where the audience is distracted by the drama, he warned the governor that the people of Edo State were not easily deceived by such tactics and would see through the small screen. <laughs> so according to Sagi, Pueblo was mistaken if he thought the people of Edo would tolerate such a distraction. So despite the governor's attempt at shifting focus, Osagi expressed confidence that the people of Edo State were wise enough to discern the truth, uh, the true intentions behind Opebolo's actions. So he further stated that Opebolo would soon realize the difficulty of his rule, suggesting that his political games would not succeed in fooling the people in the long term. Osage's comments highlight the frustration within the PDP ranks over the current leadership in Edo State. Governor Opebolo, however, has moved forward with the creation of the Verification Committee which is said to begin its work shortly Tuesday. So he said the Pueblo will soon learn that he is a governor with the hardest job in, in Nigeria because the do people or the people of a do state are wise and can only be fooled and and uh, can hardly be fooled. So he his diversionary probes may succeed in deceiving people in some states in Nigeria, but certainly not those in a do state. Have you? It's only the people from the southwest are the people that we definitely believe uh, and follow through.
So that is exactly what we're seeing here. So Pueblo will soon know that he's doing one of the hardest jobs in the country, and that is being a governor. Being a governor is like being a president, it's just at a, at a state level. That is what it is, and it is not a joke. But the only problem we find in Nigeria, the only reason it's also not a joke is because both the people and the government are not honest. If you are doing a honest job, the truth does not need any defense. The truth, you know, defends itself. Okay, so the truth does not need any other harder work to defend it. When you start the, your job and you are honest from the beginning, you will continue to cruise. And if there are difficulties, it will be glaring and will not require too much resources and time and energy to to explain, to convince people. That is it. The only reason these offices are difficult is because people are not honest. When when you are, when are bent on doing multiple calculations to see how much they can siphon out of the amount of money they have to run the system, then you do harder calculations. Uh, and you know, calculation you would have done with simple arithmetic, you will be doing it with uh, other Laplace transforms or dy dx integration and differentiation. Then you sit down there for a long time to get the result. Sometimes you may not get a result. It becomes uh, variable inseparable. Then you start cracking your head. <laughs> so if you are doing a honest job, you will not need complex formulas to do your calculations and uh, get the job done. But, you know, you just do it with a simple arithmetic. But if you are telling lies from the beginning, you are not honest with yourself, you will start with falsehood. You are going to need more falsehood to defend the initial falsehood. That is why the job is difficult. They will not agree, but we know that that is what it is. And so Basaki, where's your boy, Asa Odalo? Have you dumped him into the dustbin? Can you imagine the question somebody is asking now? <laughs> and I says, so he didn't know. So what position did he contest for? Abi? So are you saying the Pueblo did not know that he's doing a governor? Uh, he's, he's doing a governor and he's doing one of the hardest job. So which position did he think he would be local government chairman or a councillor or a political appointee? <laughs> I have been saying the, the words, okay? The governor will know that it's a governor. So we are just waiting and then we'll see how far he will fly. But obviously the game is changing hard for him. And uh, let's see how it will go. Like I said, he's just two weeks in office, too soon to tell. So we cannot say whether he's prepared or not. We cannot say whether he's feeling now. Just too soon to tell. He's just trying to find his feet and then I'd go through all the handovers that have been done and see the anomalies with what he's seeing on ground and determining the way forward. That is just what he's doing. So we say he's strategizing and this strategizing can take up to one month or two months or three months before he will start doing something meaningful. That is why I see it. Um, just for benefit of that, but well, the thing remains that uh, he knows he's a governor and uh, he should know what to do. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. As uh, both uh, Baseki and Cruz Osage are now playing the position perfectly. <laughs>